Hi, welcome back ladies and gentlemen, this is Talib Azuz. Now what I want to talk about today is developing skills, developing new habits, how you can do this, um, how we build new habits and how we keep them as permanent habits that are going to empower us. So I'm going to go a bit deep here, but I'll keep it very layman's terms as well for you. So first of all, if you see my video on the subconscious and the conscious mind, you will know that you know most of what we do happens below the surface, not above it. And most of our habits that we have were formed at an early age. So now it's almost like we're stuck with them. They're so deep rooted and so forth that most people just simply say, that's the way it is. Nothing's going to change. What I want to show you today is that actually that's not quite true. You can change it and have it as you want, but you do need to put some effort and some work in. So let's begin. Dr. K. Anders Ericsson, a Swedish psychologist and Conradi eminent scholar and professor of psychology at Florida State University, widely recognized as one of the world's leading theoretical and experimental research and expertise, wrote books and a ton of papers, wrote about myelin, a dielectric, electrically insulating material that forms a layer, the myelin sheath, usually around only the axon of a neuron. This is myelin, as you can see here, I've circled it so you can see a closer look. Layman's terms now, so people understand it before I go any further. Imagine a cable of any kind, what you have in that cable is wires and you have the material that insulates it. The material that insulates it is the myelin sheath. The signal travels through the, obviously the copper uh, wire, whatever wire you've got in there that transmits that. Just like this example here of an actual wire. So take a TV, here's an analogy of, 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 of myelin so you understand it. Take a TV and it's showing a picture that's transmitted through a signal box and that's connected via cable. Somehow we get a cut in that cable, the signal then starts to leak. As the signal starts to leak, well, the picture is also going to be interrupted. It won't be so clear no more. It becomes fuzzy. We lose the picture because that is a leak of energy. This is an analogy to explain to you in layman's terms what myelin is. So pressing on, John Monsell, a neuroscientist at Harvard University, says people imagine they're seeing what's really there but they're not. That's quite deep. They imagine they're seeing what's really there, but they're not. Once your brain decides which bits to let in, it builds bridges between various nerve cells, interlacing nerve fibers to create neural pathways. The average human has 100 billion nerve cells, each with innumerable extensions. So different highways get built up in each brain. That's capacity that we have. Now the map of neural pathways in your brain, and say Johnny Depp's brain, are as different as the maps of Wisconsin and Rhode Island. Once you get the pathway set up, you quit traveling the rest of the country. We build our neural pathways on the least complicated routes, the ones we've traveled so many times. In other words, we're creatures of habits. We're capable of doing so much, but we learn a way of doing something and we kind of stick to it and we don't change it. Whatever results it gives us in life, we just stay with those results. Usually what we've done is we've built these new pathways based upon watching and learning other people at a young age. There's tons that have been written on this. I looked into this quite deeply at one point where I was looking at developing new skills and the quickest way to do this. Now, there was a particular book called The Talent Code that I read by Daniel Coyle. It's quite interesting where he speaks about nerves are like an electrical wire, current, the message, conducting along a path, the nerve, to successfully get from point A to point B, the brain's fingertip. The electrical current must travel without being interrupted, scrambled, corrupted, diverted from proper path or leaking energy. Now, myelin is like a layer of plastic insulation surrounding the interior wire, which is nerve. And, you know, the thicker the myelin, uh, the stronger the signal and so forth. But an interior wire represents a series of axons and nerve cells that relay electrical impulse. When you struggle, you're forced to go slow, pay deep attention to what you're doing. In other words, if you find it hard doing something, guess what? You're actually developing new pathways, new neural pathways in your brain. This causes your brain to literally alter its circuitry. Myelin responds by wrapping layers of insulation around that neural circuit. Each new layer adding a bit more skill and speed. The thicker the myelin, the better it insulates, the faster, more accurate movements and thoughts become. HDMI, HDMI versus analog. You know, imagine you get an HDMI cable, you get a normal antenna cable, you cut them open, you see the difference between them. You know, you see really thick cables. Um, when it's when it's dealing with much more bigger powerful machines and so forth to make sure that you know the speed of whatever it is the signal it's sending is not interrupted and is more um, stable and robust and so forth it's universal everyone can grow it it's indiscriminate 
and its growth enables all manner of skills, mental and physical. Deliberate simulated practice is what these guys discovered. These books that I showed you, they all showed more or less the same thing, that people that developed immense amounts of skill and became experts, achieved mastery in something, use something called deliberate simulated practice, where they basically, you know, they slowed things down. So piano players, an example, they'd start by going through the motions of the keys with their fingers. If they made a mistake, they simply go back, retrace back there and do that bit again and carry on from there. Now, you may be saying, what's this got to do with me developing these new habits and skills that I'm going to develop to become successful? I'm not looking to become a master pianist. Maybe not, but the principle is the same. In essence, it's all the same. You probably heard the stories about David Beckham, where he used to practice kicking the ball against the wall when, uh, for umpteen times. And now he's known for his free kicks and it made him millions, amongst other things. Jody Wilkinson, known to practice kicks well into the night, became well known for that when it became time to play him. Boxers were spent, spots spent hours in front of the mirror throwing punches really slowly and then adjusting that position and so forth. Uh, pilots would practice for hours and simulated for their practice in real life and so forth and so forth and so forth. So I did a video on on um, role play. You should watch that on bypassing the, the conscious mind to embed into the subconscious mind. This touches on the same principle here. What you're doing is building a new neural pathway, new neural pathway, a new neural pathway. That new neural pathway will get you a new result. If you're not happy with the results that you're getting currently, you know, you can change that. That's my point here. So I had somebody say to me, you know, I don't think this is working for me. Okay, well, why not? Tell me what you've done first of all. Let's go through it. It's a coaching session we went through. And in that coaching session, it turns out they hadn't wrote, written their story. They just thought about their story. And part of what it says is to write your story. Because you're always thinking about your story no matter what you're doing. Uncon or, or just unconsciously, actually, most people are telling their story. What we do is consciously tell your story when you tell your story. That's why I say put pen to paper and write it down. Because by doing that, you've got to be even more conscious. And what you're doing is you're, in you're utilizing a form of magic here. And there's magic all around us. Don't get put, up the put off by the word magic. You know, we're always creating something magical. The problem is we're miscreating half the time because we're unconscious. So we spend time complaining. We bitch, moan, complain all the time. And then we wonder why we don't get the results that we want. We have to change that. We have to build new neural pathways in our head. And we do that. And then when we do that, and we do that by adjusting, next time you feel like moaning and bitching and complaining, you change it and you say something different. You look for the positive in that. Then you give thanks for the positive side of it, wherever it's going to be, whatever that will be. You don't know yet. It's not yours to know. You need to have some trust and faith in the universe that is there to guide you. Because if you've created this new life for yourself, you know, you've got to remember that you're currently deleting the old life, so to speak. Old habits that haven't served you before. You replace them with these new habits. Edgar Dale's kind of learning talks about how we learn. Most of us are passive in our learning. In other words, this student that didn't want to write their story. You know, that's passive learning. You want to sit there, you want to listen. It's like sitting down watching the videos and listening. You can listen all you want, but not until you take action, become active, are you really going to get the actual learning. You know, you can spend all day in a, in a, in a martial arts class, but not till you put the gloves on and spa will you actually know what you've learned. Put it into action. You know, you can read all the business books you want, but not till you go out there and do business. You can learn about negotiating, but not until you negotiate. You can learn all about um, uh, various different skills and topics, but until you actually do it, will you actually get it? You know, and that's how things change. It builds new neural pathways. You've heard the saying, practice makes perfect. Well, that's not quite true. Practice actually makes permanent. So when you're doing something, if you're not doing it in the way that you want it to be, i.e. if you're bitching and moaning and not telling your story and uh, you're telling the wrong kind of story, doing it unconsciously, you're in a form of practice. You're not making perfect, you're making permanent. If you want to be perfect, you need to change the way you do it. You know, the fact is only perfect practice makes perfect. You know, things are like a, a roulette, uh, um, a, a roundabout, if you like. Those of you that have got kids or taking kids to the park and you've taken them on these sort of roulette wheels, these roundabout th things in the park, 
And first of all, you've got to push it with the kids on it. And first of all, there's a bit of effort behind it. You've got to build that effort up, that momentum. But once you've done that, what happens? Doesn't it go by itself? Now all you have to do is maintain it, sustain it, just by tapping it along, tapping it along to keep it going. It's like a business. It's like getting in shape. You can't say, you know, well, I bought a gym membership and I didn't get in shape. You need to go to the gym, put some effort in. You can't simply sit there and say, well, look, you know, um, I, 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 for example, bought a box load of this product to sell. But, you know, nobody's buying it. Well, have you taken it out and put it in the market, for example? Uh, no. So you need to go through the process of doing. We still live in the physical realm where you've got to do the physical actions. Now, my point is sometimes when you don't do that and you procrastinate, it's probably because you have the habit of doing it, that you've developed from somebody else. Maybe your parents were people that procrastinated or your peers or something you saw or learned. But that's not the be all and end all. And I've heard many people say, that's just the way I am. Yeah, but maybe that's just the way I am. Yeah, but I'm just like that. You're not just like that. You choose to be like that. And you can choose not to be like that by doing something different. NLP and hypnosis says it takes 21 days to form a new habit. Well, guess what? You can start right now forming a new habit. And yes, day one is going to be the hardest. Like this will. The first step is going to be the hardest to push. Yes, it is. But once you get going, you build momentum and you start building new habits. And it's never too late to change something you want to change. You know, there's stories, immense stories. Napoleon Hill wrote about one of the presidents, um, I think it was Abraham Lincoln, who was a failed businessman, went on to become one of the greatest presidents America had ever seen. So people can go on to change their lives and be anything they want. You know, uh, there's perfect examples out there constantly, if you have a look, of people that have changed. Um, there was a gangbanger who was on trial. Um, I think he was one of the Bloods or something, from the Bloods and Crips uh, um, gangs over in uh, L.A., I can't remember which side he was on, but he changed his life around, helped many people in prison. You know, there's stories of this all the time. What these people have done is they've changed their habits and built neural pathways, new neural pathways. And science proves that we can do this. You know, if somebody else can do it, you can do it too. I want you to think about a child. Those that, got, that have children, imagine your child learning to walk. You know, your child doesn't stand up and walk right away. You know, they take a step or two and fall over. If that would you do do you turn around to your child and say hey look listen kid i don't think you're gonna get this it's not gonna happen for you you know you, you know your balance is not good your legs are not strong enough your coordination's out you know just give up on this uh, walking thing or do you encourage them constantly till they do it you encourage them constantly till they do it till they get it you know a child comes up and says mama dada you don't turn around to your child and say like uh, i'm sorry child but your english is just not good enough come back when you can speak properly no, you encourage them to do it. So what I want you to do is encourage yourself as well. Treat yourself like a baby and give yourself that same love that you give your child. Encourage yourself. You know, encourage yourself. Don't worry, I'll get this. I'll make it happen. If it's not right first time, it's fine. Because most things won't be right first time. Look, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I hope it's been beneficial to you. Um, I hope it's helped you understand the process a bit more of how we learn things. Please keep your questions coming. Hit me up on Facebook also, post comments below and so forth. If you want me to do any videos on anything specific, please let me know also. Um, keep your questions coming. I will be doing more videos again. I've got plenty of topics to speak about in relation to this and I really want to help you guys change something within your lives to start seeing the kind of results that you want. We're not here to merely fall into um, a way of being. We're not here to merely go to work, come home, watch television. We're here to live something greater than that. You know, this body is like an avatar. If you've never seen the movie, go watch the movie. Just like an avatar, you know, we can do what we want with this body, but we need to also nurture it and rest it as well. So in fact, what I also want to do is put a video out there where I'm going to show you a 10, 15 minute, depends how much you want to give to it, training regime, a little routine that you can do that if you follow this and put the intensity into it, it will give you some phenomenal results. Better than going to an hour every day for the gym, to the gym every day for an hour that you can follow to get your body healthy because your body needs to be healthy to give you energy also. Uh, listen, like I said, I'll do some more videos. Keep your questions coming. Like, subscribe, and share as well. Anybody you think will benefit from these videos. Till next time, peace out and God bless.